I'm going to talk to you about why we need labor law reform, and I think the case at Smithfield is the poster child for why we need to change our labor laws. I mentioned that in 1997, that was the last time they had the union election before this recent victory. It took years for the union to appeal that case through the National Labor Relations Board and through our court systems before finally the Court of Appeals said, what do you know, Smithfield broke the law. Seven years it took said they had engaged in intense and widespread coercion, found them guilty of over 50 violations of the law, including spying on workers, confiscating union materials, firing union supporters, and threatening to close the plant. The same kind of thing happened in the 1994 election. But folks, there's no justice when you gotta wait seven years for the courts to rule that you were illegally fired just because you supported a union. So when this case went through the courts, the company said, okay let's, okay, let's have another union election. But you can imagine the union's like, how's this election going to be any different? You did the same things in 94, you did them in 97, and in the seven years that this case was going through the courts, it was the same kind of thing. Workers getting harassed, racial epithets being used. There's a whole lot of racial divisions that the company tried to exploit at that plant because you have white workers, you got Native American workers, Hispanic workers, African American workers, and the company would say to the African American workers, you know it's the Hispanic workers that want this union. They want this union, once they get the union, they're gonna try and get rid of you. And then they go and tell the same thing to the Hispanic workers. So they really were trying to divide workers. And this is a company that until about 2000, they had their own company police force with a jail cell in the plant. And so that was one way they would her intimidate union supporters. Say, you know, so-and-so said that, you know, you stole this wallet out of their car and they, you know, locked them up for a little while. But when it was really about, we know you're a union supporter because they've had workers spying on their coworkers and they were keeping a list of who's for the union and who's not. In 1997, on the day of the election, after the election results were announced, several workers were beaten up by off-duty um, sheriff's deputies who the company had hired as security. On the union trailer, the N-word was written. There, there's a whole lot of nasty, ugly behavior that was happening leading into that union election, and the union thought, we'll never have a fair election there if the company continues these kind of tactics, and we gotta wait years for justice. 